Hey guys, it's Shayla. If you guys haven't figured from the title above, this is going to be my top six favorite MAC lipsticks. Um, I decided not to do a top five just because I couldn't narrow it down. I didn't want to do a top ten because that would have just dragged on for ages. So if you guys are interested, please stay in tune. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the lipsticks properly. So my first lipstick is Diva. And the packaging looks like this, and the lipstick is like that. I need it to be a mahogany maroon burgundy color. This is the swatch here, and this is the lipstick. I hope you guys can see. And yeah, it's perfect. I recommend you guys to wear this for fall. It's a perfect lipstick. If you're looking for a perfect fall color, then I recommend you guys purchase this. My next lipstick is... Cream Sheen Crosswires. And that is what it looks like. It looks like this is the lipstick. I have this lipstick as a very true, nice coral color. It is a cream sheen um, formula, so it does go on quite creamy and nice, and it's moisturizing. And this is the swatch here. This is Crosswires. And I love this lipstick. More fair toned, and you're looking for a similar color to a coral. Um, I would recommend you go for the color Coral Bliss. If you're a bit more tanner, um, Coral Bliss will look a bit too pale on you. So I'd recommend you go for Crosswise because this lipstick is absolutely perfect and it's very pigmented. You only need a little amount. It would look perfect with a gold eye. My next lipstick is Candy Yum Yum. That is what it looks like. This is the lipstick here, and as you can tell, I've used quite a lot of it. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I describe this color as a hot neon pink, almost like, you know those highlighters you would get, um, those pen highlighters, the hot pink one? This is the same color, and I know that's a really, really bad example, but I mean, that is just how I can describe this color. Very bright, uh, anyone can rock this color. If you are more fair toned, this color will look more of a hot pink on you. And if you are more of tan or darker, this will look more like a baby hot pink. Beautiful and I love it. And yeah, don't be afraid to try this color because it is perfect. And So my next lipstick is Rebel. My name on mine has munted off, so that's why it just says Rib. It's Rebel and this is the packaging. And this is the lipstick and as you can tell it's like almost hit rock bottom. Yeah, it does look quite scary in its tube just like Diva. There is the swatch for it. It's a very, very bright pinky toned plum. Perfect for like autumn or fall or if you want a very true nice berry lip. So if you're wondering on getting a perfect fall color and you're looking for a more plummy color, I would recommend you go for this. Try it out. My next lipstick is Flat Out Fabulous. There retro matte collection. This is the lipstick. It's more of a purple as well. It's almost like a pinky purple. The color I can describe this to is magenta. There's it there. This lives up to its name. This is flat out fabulous. I can't describe more to it but I love the color and I'll be wearing this more often. So my last lipstick is and it is called All Fired Up. This is the lipstick like just an amazing red rose color. This is the lipstick I am wearing on my lips right now. I'll just swatch it for you before I actually forget. And this is the color right there. But this lipstick is amazing and if you are like me and you don't really pull off reds that well then I would suggest you go for like a red with a little bit of pink in it and All Fired Up is the perfect lipstick. But that is my top six lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helped you guys a lot. If you're thinking of getting any of these colors then you know I'd highly recommend you go out and get them because they are amazing and they are my top six lipsticks I would repurchase from MAC.